actually produced together with David and uh, Giorgio. So I'm happy you guys like it. But no one knows, like, it's not fully my style, but like, production wise, it was fun. So I work with it. Here you go, Montreal, Canada. You guys were crazy. It's London, it's also in Canada, and I made this trek there in the car from, I don't remember where, but we passed the American border, it was pretty funny, and I was making the song while at the border. And it's pretty only headphones, so it might sound a bit weird, it's like it's the really loud one. been looking for this song for almost all my life and we have 1113 viewers 14 right now does any one of you guys know what this song is it's like i could never find it. it's like some old school uk garage shit or something fucks with my head that I could never find this fucking song. Rubber Ducky, if you have this, give me the name right now. I'll make a shout out to you on Twitter. No? No one? Ah. Fuck. No one. Fuck. That sucks. It's also gonna be fun by the way. It's really old. This isn't really new. It's coming out. Lost and Found Part 2. I made this in a couple of hours. It's called What Are You Doing? And I thought it's pretty cool. It's like What are you doing? Oh, my God. 
I'll play it again. Wait. By the way, I just saw something asking me what I think about the top 100 DJ pool. I know a lot of there are a lot of online people that watch music online all the time, and there are a lot of uh, people that are not even allowed into clubs yet that also vote. But um, David number one, yeah, it's true. Like mess with it, it's true. This guy has fucking 20 million Facebook followers, and he makes great radio electro housey music, and it's fun. And he plays, by the way, like for the haters suck my dick anyway like haters suck my dick because haters suck haters suck but oh yeah this is the record by the way sorry wait i almost forgot the record I can't find this song anywhere, but to go back at it, uh, DJ Mac Top 100, like, it's voted, it's right. And by the way, I saw Armin play three weeks ago in Australia for the first time in my life. It was cool. And uh, Tiesto for me is a good friend of mine and he makes great music and he plays six sets and he's been doing this for fucking ten years, so... Yeah, that's like, that's going out to all the haters, to so all the lovers then there's no question about it, the DJ Mac Top 100 is right. Not exactly, but like, ba basically, mainly. Avicii is a great guy, really nice guy, I met him a couple of times. He makes great music, it's not my style. Uh, it's like, it's a lot of chords and stuff, I like to listen to it on the radio. But I wouldn't play it, like when I play, I want to make shit go crazy, I want to make shit explode. It's like going into a club with a machine gun and just go like And you finish off with one big ass grenade and then you go home being like What the fuck happened? But you had a good time So That's the difference That's what I think in any case I'm like, I'm not I like progressive music, I'm a big fan of Eric Pritz but for me, as an artist, I just like banging shit up and going absolutely crazy. Not really giving a fuck about anything. That's why I always drink. Like, it's a party, I have some fucking fun. <coughs> and uh, Swedish House Mafia, they're sick. They've always been sick. I've known their music for the last, I think, eight years or something. I've been listening to Steve Angelo shit and Sebastian Ingrosso shit. And these guys are fucking professors in the studio, it's amazing. And, uh... Who sucks? Who sucks? I don't know. There's, there hasn't, like, I met, like, almost every DJ, and there hasn't really been one that is, like, wow, what an asshole. What are you doing? Okay. Wait, 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 wait. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Yannickia. Yannickia. Of course, a judge guy. This must be sick. Ah, oh, fuck me. Wow! After six years of searching. Janneke, Paka, what is your Twitter?
happy. I'm like, this is sick. Ja, Yannick, je weet sowieso twee kaartjes voor morgen voor Jack. Sowieso. Dit maakt mij het meeste lachen van de hele dag. Ja, yeah, dat was Dutch. Janneke, je was eerder rein voor. Oké, okay, any case, uh, that was basically, this was basically it. Thank you guys for coming out. I'll play you some new shit another time again. We just, you can watch me make a track or something. Um, anything else? Uh, uh, let me see. Did you guys say anything cool? I love, uh, I love Alesso by the way, that guy is fucking great. Alesso, you work. I met this guy like four or five times, we partied, this guy is fucking party animal, it's crazy. We had a great time. Um, Steve Aoki rocks too, he's like one of my best friends in the whole music industry. Dead Mouse, well, it's, it's, a, it's a nice guy. Like sometimes he's pissed off and he's an asshole and sometimes he's happy and he's super nice. Like with a lot of people. Rehab, of course. Tommy Trash, of course. Great guys. Anger Dimas, I met only once and I met him in Indonesia and he's like this really tiny guy that's going like blah 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 blah. Like talking really fast, but he's a really cool guy. And to finalize this, yes, I'm gonna play different sets at 466 and Roseland. I'm doing three gigs in like the close proximity of New York. I'm doing Roseland, I'm doing Pacha, and I'm doing 466. So yes, I will play different sets. It would be a fucking stupid thing like, I'm a DJ, I'm not a, I'm not a show. I don't have a big fucking cube around me. I, I like play what I feel. If I just found out about a song that day, I might play a three gigs, like whatever. But I just wanna have fun and fucking party and play what I like at any given time of the fucking show. So you better get ready. Thank you guys. I love you guys. I go smoke one. I see you guys later. And yes, I love Skrillex. He's a fucking great guy. See you guys later. Peace out. <laughs>